Hello everyone, this is Hanan Awad, President of Corporita Consulting. Today I want to share with you some personal experience. The last few weeks I was suffering high blood pressure and after the medical consultation, the, the doctor said that the only way is to try to control my chronic stress. I decided to take it very, very seriously because I know when you are not in at your best health, you cannot perform, you cannot enjoy life, you cannot be of any value to anyone around you, including yourself. I do a journal and write down and I jot down my ideas and my thoughts on paper. And I came up with a plan how to control chronic stress and the main issue for me was that I didn't feel there is so much stress in my life. But journaling and jotting down what's in my life, or what are my feelings about certain things in my life, I started to understand the main reasons behind my feelings and the stress that I feel. One of the things that um, came up is fear. Hmm. That's very strange because I always felt that um, fearless, but believe me, no one is fearless. We are all having some sort of fear. The successful people have fears as well and they don't face their fears. Actually, they do it despite the fear. I made sure to acknowledge my fears and accept them and think of ways how to do the things that I, I love to do and I want to do despite the fear. That was my first step and it was huge one to decide what is causing this chronic stress. The second thing was sleep. I was, I was thinking that I'm not sleep deprived. I get eight, nine hours of sleep and I thought that everything is okay. But what I discovered is that the timing is off. Although yes, I sleep nine hours, but sometimes I don't take the nine hours um, as, as, as a big chunk of sleep. Sometimes I go to bed late. Sometimes I walk in the middle of the night uh, with some idea uh, working and, 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 uh, and talking out loud in my head and I start working on it and I lose two or three hours of precious sleep during the night. I decided to adjust my, my sleep schedule. The third thing was that although I take vitamins, but I don't take vitamins regularly. I sometimes forget taking vitamins and no matter how I um, uh, schedule or, or, or uh, have those alerts and reminders on, uh, in, in my calendar, I end up you know, forgetting taking my vitamins. So I, I decided to take this seriously, especially taking magnesium because when we, you know, when we grow old, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a spring chicken anymore. Um, uh, we tend to, to need more magnesium. So I decided to add a little bit more magnesium into my vitamin intake. The next strategy was moving. You know, when we are busy, sometimes we cannot find the right time to, to go to the gym or have a walk or something like this. So I, I thought, okay, what's the main purpose here? What's the main purpose of going to, to the gym or going out or something like this? It's moving. So I decided also to keep in mind how I can get moving. So whenever, for example, I'm, I'm watching a, a movie with the kids, I decided to, to do some movements uh, with my arms, with uh, um, every uh, 30 minutes or so, I go and I, I, I move around in the office. I, um, uh, now I, I work on my laptop standing. So all these small things I started to add into my daily routine and I tried to make it as fun as possible. So now we have 
uh, some fighting match with my sons uh, because they are into um, uh, martial arts so I said oh yeah, I love martial arts too and I I love boxing so let me let me have some movement with them and it's it's part of our play time as well well all points are important but this one I always have a hobby something that i love doing and i discovered that lately i have been so busy that i stopped practicing any hobby and the readings that i do tends to be non-fiction books that mainly helps my business so so it it it's not reading to me was not a hobby it was part of my business so I decided to stop this and today I will go to the local box store, book store here. You don't need to invest lots of money in, in your hobby. Try to find ways that's manageable, that you can, you can practice something, you can practice a hobby uh, or, or some, some sort of activity that you love. If you love to, to dance, just have some music on and dance. Um, if, if you like to draw, you don't need to, to have expensive material. You can go to the dollar store, have some material and start uh, drawing. You can do something, but something that's not, that, that you don't feel as a duty. It's not part of your role as a mother or a father, as, as an employee or a career person or a professional or a business person. No something that's purely for your enjoyment the second thing was to have not a me time but some quiet time sometimes we we burden ourselves with okay yes i i should have my me time i should have this one hour that i do something for myself and sometimes we we end up thinking of no activity that can fit in this me time so in a state of me time, I decided to have a quiet time, quiet time that I could share with some other people. So uh, I started this, uh, the five o'clock tea after we come home and it, 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 it's not at five o'clock, <laughs> but after we, we come home, we feed the kids, we do all the things and we have this one hour that we sit together and have some quiet time talking and one of the things that I, I i encourage you to do as a couple if you have this significant person in your life is to try to have this one-to-one -one time and try to discuss something pleasant don't discuss problems don't discuss issues don't discuss challenges there are some other times that you can discuss these things but dedicate this time even if it is 30 minutes or even 15 minutes to discuss something pleasant to both of you of course the next point was to foster your spirituality i i see that whenever you have a faith and despite your religion despite your beliefs even if you are atheist or agnostic or 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 whatever but having this spiritual connection to the universe to a bigger force than you actually it gives us hope creates this sort of serenity inside our hearts so find the right way that foster your spirituality if it is a holy scripture that you read read it if it is meditation any activity or anything that you can do to feel connection i have a friend her spiritual ritual is go hiking by herself she has certain music that she listened to so she she does this i tried meditation actually i struggle with meditation uh, very much you know i cannot shut off my brain and those quick meditation <laughs> work out i don't like it because they don't work for me i cannot meditate for five minutes and i feel oh yeah i refreshed actually i need more than five minutes to shut off all chatter and the thoughts in my brain so it's it's not feasible it's not practical one of the things that i discovered that i love doing is saying supplications and affirmations so repeating certain words and i believe in christianity and in, in judaism they, they also have this 
So, and in, in Islam, we call it dhikr, repeating certain things and having this monotone rhythm. I found that it eases my thoughts and my ideas and my brain and my inner talk. So that's my strategy. The last thing is stretching. I was not doing enough stretching. Yes, I focused on movement and I learned this actually from my cat. Uh, I've read somewhere that the best Zen masters are cats. I started to, to see how my cats behave. My cats stretch a lot. One day I out of curiosity, I, I thought, okay, what does it feel? Sometimes we do stretches uh, before um, doing a workout or after a workout, so we don't pull a muscle or we don't exhaust our muscles. But I did it for the purpose of stretching. Stretching for the purpose of stretching. And uh, I have some rolls here and I have um, uh, some, some tools that I can use in stretching and i felt the difference not from the first time actually the first time the feeling was a little bit awkward but by repeating those stretches in the morning and actually whenever i remember i discovered that it has a tremendous effect those were my strategies to manage my stress i don't want to use the word chronic stress also i don't like to use the word manage because the ultimate goal is to eliminate stress whatsoever from our lives. So please, please let me know what's the strategy that you apply to manage or control stress in your life.